Hi, TC Kids! How are you doing? Yay! It's time for us to learn again! Oh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Teacher Celine. Can everybody say, Hi, Teacher Celine! And welcome to my online learning channel! <laughs> ready for story time see me <laughs> today's storytelling is all about dinosaurs Rawr! before we start I have a question hmm. do we still see dinosaurs no right they are already extinct Extinct means that none of the dinosaurs are existing or living. And did you know that there are two basic types of dinosaurs? These are meat eaters or carnivores. Can everybody say meat eaters? They have sharp teeth and they eat meat. The next type of dinosaur are called plant eaters or herbivores. Can everybody say plant eaters? They have flat teeth and eat plants. Great! We already know the two basic types of dinosaurs. Before we start our story time, let me check if you are ready. If you have egg shakers, maracas, or any instruments, please get them now. I'll use my egg shakers. Just follow Teacher Celine, okay? Get ready to sing along with me. Get ready! One, two, three, go! We're gonna shake, shake, shake and shake. We're gonna shake, shake, shake and shake. We're gonna shake, shake. Shake and shake. Now stop! <laughs> this time, let's do it faster. We're gonna shake, shake, shake and shake. We're gonna shake, shake, shake and shake. We're gonna shake, shake, shake and shake. Now stop! <laughs> Yay! Let me get my book. I have a story. What could it be? Ooh. <laughs> I have a story. Who could it be? <laughs> I have a story. What could it be? Ta-da! The title of the story is Dinosaurs by Jill McDonald. When Teacher Celine is reading a story, what should we do? We should open our eyes, open your eyes, open our ears, lock our lips, hands on our lap, sit like a pretzel, and eye on the book. Dinosaurs by Jill McDonald. Long ago, dinosaurs roamed the earth. Today, you can see their bones at a museum. Oh, this is called an Apatosaurus. Dinosaur bones are found by paleontologists who fit them back together like a puzzle. A paleontologist is a scientist who studies fossils. What do they use? They have measuring tape, magnifying glass, a chisel, a geological hammer, a brush, and a trowel. Some dinosaurs were very big like Apatosaurus. Its long neck would reach high into the treetops. 
munch. Apatosaurus could whip its large tail around to scare off other dinosaurs. Other dinosaurs were small, like Compsognathus. It was only about the size of a chicken. Compsognathus was small but fast. It could run away quickly from larger enemies. Triceratops was a large, heavy dinosaur with three horns, which it used for protection. Triceratops had hundreds of teeth. New teeth would replace old ones as they wore down. This slow-moving dinosaur that looks like it's wearing a suit of armor is Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus used its club tail for protection. Velociraptor was a small and very speedy dinosaur. This dinosaur had feathers. Wow. Stegosaurus had triangle-shaped plates down its back. Do you also see its spiky tail? Stegosaurus means plated lizard. Tyrannosaurus Rex was fierce with its large head, sharp teeth, and strong legs. It was one of the most powerful meat-eating dinosaurs. T-Rex arms were very small, even though its body was large. Iguanodon was herbivorous. This means it ate plants, not meat. See the big spike on its thumb? It was used to open fruits and seeds and also to scare off enemies. Where did dinosaurs come from? Oh, baby dinosaurs hatched from eggs that were laid in a nest. Dinosaur parents dug nests into the ground or built them up out of mud. Oh, look at those baby dinosaurs. <laughs> now that you know a little more about dinosaurs, it's time to let out the big dino roar! D and Yay! Did you guys enjoy our story for today? Now, let's play a game. Tell me the name of the dinosaur as soon as I flash the picture on my screen. Are you ready? Great! Let's start. What dinosaur is this? Very good! It's a T-Rex or a Tyrannosaurus Rex. The T-Rex was a meat-eating dinosaur. It had two claws and walked on two feet. The T-Rex is known as the king of the dinosaurs. What dinosaur is this? Very good, it's the Ankylosaurus. Can everybody say Ankylosaurus? The Ankylosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur. It had thick, bony armor covering almost its entire body. Even its eyelids. Its armor was made up of thick bands or plates of bones with many spikes. What dinosaur is this? Wow, very good! It's the Stegosaurus. Can everybody say Stegosaurus? The Stegosaurus was a plant-eating dinosaur. It walked slowly on four legs. It had triangle-shaped plates down its back. It had a deadly weapon at the other end of its body. The long, sharp spikes on its tail can give nasty wounds. What dinosaur is this? 
That is correct. It's the Diplodocus. Can everybody say Diplodocus? The Diplodocus is a plant-eating dinosaur. The meaning of their name is double beam lizard because of the shape of its bones. It had a very long neck and whip-like tail. Next, what dinosaur is this? That is correct again. It's the Triceratops. Can everybody say Triceratops? The Triceratops is another plant-eating dinosaur. The meaning of Triceratops is three-horned face. It also had brow and nose horns that they use for defense. Last one, what dinosaur is this? That is correct again, it's the Pterodactyl. The Pterodactyl is a meat-eating dinosaur. Its name means wing finger. It's interesting to note that pterodactyls were flying reptiles that had large wings formed by skin. Yay! We are now ready to answer our activity sheet. Kindly check the description box to download the file. Let's answer together! Step number one, write your I'll write teacher Celine. Step number two. Let's read the directions. Skill one to one correspondence. Identifying and writing numbers 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Directions. Count the dinosaurs, match, and write the correct number. Remember TC Kids, when you count, count slowly, and don't forget to mark it. Okay, let's count the first dinosaur. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Where is the number fifteen? There you are. Right, number fifteen. Very good. Next, let's start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Where is the number? There you are! <laughs> right? Number 13. Next, let's start counting. Don't forget to mark it. One, count with teacher. Two, louder. Three, four, very good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Where is the number twelve? There you are. <laughs> <laughs> right, number 12. Next, let's start counting. Count slowly. One, two, count with teacher Celine. Three, 
four, very good. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There you are. Write your own fourteen. Yay! Last one. Count with teacher. One. Louder. I want to hear your voice. Two. Very good. Three. Good job. Next. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10 and 11. There you are. <laughs> Write your own 11. Yay! If you did it correctly, give yourself a happy face. Wow! Wow! I'm so proud of my TC kids. That's the end of our fun lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with Teacher Sleep. But before we end our session, let's sing our goodbye song. Everybody, arms up, get ready. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. It's time for us to go. We had a happy day. We'll see you all again. We'll see you then, my friend. It's time for us to go. We had a happy day. We'll see you again, my friends. Bum, bum. Can everybody say goodbye? And thank you, Teacher Celine. If you enjoyed this lesson, please don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel. See you next time, kids. Goodbye.